Okay, good afternoon, Facebook group. It's been a few days. I was on vacation last week and Cyber Monday and the Black Friday and just the busyness of life has caught me in not getting out to the group and sharing some of my thoughts in terms of my journey, in terms of what I'm reading, my daily actions every day in my business. And today's will be quite short and brief because of um, the interactions I've had in business and the calls I'm making with my team members, with my business partners, with prospects, you name it. What I want to chat with all of you about are the things I can control. What can you and I control? And once we understand this and grasp this and bottle this up, we will be much more effective leaders. So what can I control? What can I control? First of all, I can control my attitude. Your attitude is paramount the way you wake up every day and how you feel about your day ahead. You can control that. No one else is going to decide how my attitude is going to play out today. No incident, no situation. And I know it's difficult and I struggle with that. I know you struggle with that. But ultimately, your attitude is something you can control. Guard it and don't let any distractions um, play around with it. Number two is your effort. What can you control today? No matter what you're doing, if you're a business partner with me, building uh, your business here or whatever you're doing. You can control your effort today. What you're going to go out there and, and the effort you're going to push through to get the tasks done that you want to do today so that you have a magical day, a constructive day, a positive day. You can control those efforts every day. And you can control your behavior, how you behave. And I tell you, it comes down to personal development, how you choose to behave with those around you. When it comes to those around you, I'm talking about your loved one, your family members, your team in your business, whatever business you're talking about, with your customers, the way you're driving. If someone cuts you off, how are you going to behave and react to that individual? Um, let it go. You are in control of your attitude. You are in control of your efforts. You're in control of your behavior. And ultimately, you're in control of your actions, how you're going to act in every facet of your day to make that day a productive day, not caught up with all of the other things around you. And I tell you, I'm working on that. And the moment we realize that, that basically we're in control of ourselves because the things that you and I are not in control of or basically outside of my control is other people's actions and how many times in our business do we get people calling me and perhaps myself even calling to my senior partners and saying she said she was going to meet me and she didn't show up they thought they were going to build this business uh, and sponsor that person and it never happened or she did this or they did that we need to let that go. You can control your own actions. So don't spend any time up here in trying to control other people's actions. It's tough enough and to control your own, act, your own actions and being uh, aware of that. Okay. What about other people's opinions? Things outside your control and my control or what other people think, their opinions. Don't try to sway them. Don't try to spend precious time because time is your most precious asset trying to you know alter or get frustrated with other people's opinions what about other people's feelings that's outside of your control what about other people's mistakes when you're trying to perhaps work with people um, or if someone else makes a mistake that's their mistake just like you make your own mistakes don't get caught up on that so bottom line the things you can control be clear about that. Your attitude every day, your effort, your behavior, and your actions. Your attitude, your effort, your behavior, and your actions every day. That is what I can control. So if that's what I can control, that's what I'm going to focus in on and let other people's actions, other people's opinions, other people's feelings, and other people's mistakes go by the wayside. Because if you reverse the amount of time you're spending on those, you will see that you won't move ahead. You're going to be caught up in everything else and you'll leave behind what's the most important thing that you can control is you and all those things that I shared. So hope you got some value in that. Take control of what you can control and let the rest of it go. Just let it go.
Hope you got some value from this. Feel free to share. Feel free to comment below. If you're working on controlling your own attitudes and efforts and behaviors and actions, and let's get rid of worrying about the ones that are outside of our control. Okay, guys, have yourselves a fantastic Tuesday. We'll chat with you soon.